This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. We have our symmetrical design that you created lines from your design that you made. I'm going to have you crop this one. So go in there and select the crop tool by pressing C or manually selecting it. And now we have half of your design with the lines. And we are going to create textures. So I have a group big file of textures that I've collected. You will be searching the internet for te your own textures, but I like to use what I've already found because I have some great textures. So I'm going to find a green leaf texture. So I will open that in Photoshop and I will select it by command A and then I will command C for copy and then I will command V for paste and I will paste it onto the background underneath the lines and move it. I will command J to copy it and get the move tool and pull it down and line it up. Then I will merge those two layers together with command E as an elbow. So I'm going to select the line layer and go over and get my magic wand and make sure my line layer is selected. Again, I am going to select shapes from this line layer. If I press the shift key, I get a plus symbol for the wand and I can add other, select other shapes to add onto that. So I will select all the shapes that I want. Once I have those selected, I'm going to select my leaf layer again, and I'm going to go select layer mask. So the mask is going to block all the areas that I did not select and show the areas that I did select. Now I want to go to my textures that I have saved. You will be going to the internet, of course, and searching for textures. I'm thinking I want a red texture because this is my complementary color design. I know I have this red texture here. So I'm going to open that in Photoshop. So I'll Command A to select the whole canvas, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. That's quite a large texture. I think I want to shrink it down. So Command T to transform. I'm going to flip it counterclockwise. So I'll go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. So I will reduce it down even more and press Return. And I have what I want. So now I decide what shapes do I want to be red. I'll go back to my line layer, get my magic wand, and I'm going to select the shapes. I'll press shift to add to that shape. And once I have all my shapes selected, I'll select the red texture layer and click on layer mask and it will reveal the ones only that I have selected and hide the others. Now I want to get another color. So I'll go to my textures that I have saved. And I have a, this blue paper that I like, so I'm going to open that in Photoshop. I will do Command A to select it all. Command C to copy, Command V, I will paste it on the background. And I'm going to turn it clockwise to fit better and get my move tool and move it in place. Now I want to go to my line layer and get my magic wand and select the shapes that I want to have the blue paper texture. So if I Select a shape, press shift, I can add to that shape. 
the other shapes once I have all the shapes that I would like to be blue I will go to, back to my blue layer click on the layer mask and it only reveals the ones that I have selected now I want to select another color for my other shapes I'm thinking an orangey yellow I have all these papers here that are old looking vintage papers to select from I'm looking one that's more orangey and yellow I think I like that one I will open it up and do command A to select command C to copy and I will paste it on the background command V looks a little pale so I want to adjust it so if I go to adjustments under image and down to hue and saturation I could do command U if I want so I can increase the saturation make it richer I can also change the hue if I want but I don't think I really want to do that to make it maybe a little more yellow but and I think I want to darken it a bit so once I get it what I where I want it I will click OK I like how that looks so I will keep it that way now I'm thinking my blue color looks like it needs to be darkened a bit so I'm going to select the blue layer but I specifically want to select the blue window and I'm going to image and adjustments and to hue and saturation again or command U and I'm going to darken that blue make the contrast a little stronger so if I play with the lightness and darkness, uh, saturation, uh, changing the hue, I don't know if I really want to do that too much. I like how it looks, so I will click OK. I'm going to save it now as a PSD with the layers because I want to keep my layers. I like to see how I did things later on before I flatten it. I have something to go back to so now we will flatten it go to layer down to the bottom to flatten the image once you have flattened it we are going to do command J to copy it and now we'll go to edit down to transform and flip horizontally now we want to go to image and canvas size and we want to make it 10 inches wide we want to make sure the arrow is pointing to the right click OK get our move tool pull it over and we have a finished image we want to merge it command E to merge now I'm going to save it as a JPEG with my name on it to submit for the assignment JPEG save so we are done one little trick you can try is command I and invert your image it's always fun to see how it looks remember to submit your assignment with your name on it thank you